The next stitch we're going to try is a single crochet. This is another real basic crochet stitch. There aren't very many, so it's easy to learn. So with single crochet, I'm going to go in on this next row. I'm going to go across to the left. I'm going to stick the hook into the hole one stitch over from where I was. So you count this as one and this is two. So you're going to the second hole and you're going to go back up and pull a loop through. That's one and then two. This is a two-step stitch. So it's one, two. Go in through the loop, catch the yarn, one, pull it through again, two. Okay, we're at the end of the row. We're going to take one stitch and turn and then start in again. You go into the second stitch, not the one you just did, but the next one over. Now there is some that think that do it with just going into this, the first part of the loop, the front part, and some that go through both. So you have it like that. I prefer to go through both because then I don't have horizontal lines. I'll show you the difference here. This is a single crochet without any horizontal lines to speak of. I mean there are some, but this is a more pro pronounced Here's a double crochet, and you can see this line that goes across here. If you go through two loops, two strings, then you get this look. If you get though through one, you get this look with the, the line that goes across. It's just a matter of preference. So I'm going to show you the way I like it. So we're going to go back across again, this time with single crochet as well. Pull through a loop through a loop. One, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. After a while it gets so easy that you just don't even have to think about it. You just go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two